Hey guys, this is James from Squid Gaming, and today I'm starting a series on um, the basics of the Armor 3 editor, and then we'll be getting gradually more advanced um, each time. So, for this video, I'll be covering uh, setting your player spawn, um, ally and teammate spawns, both NPCs and um, playable characters for co-op missions, um, spawning enemies. Um, making allies and enemies patrol areas and go in buildings and stuff um, and also respawn points if you're doing a co-op mission and you, you want to make them be able to die more than once and also for TDM type of things you also need uh, a respawn point okay so let's hop in so let's jump into the editor obviously Stratus is the only island we have at the moment um, but yeah and then um, you get greeted with the lovely map. Um, first thing you ever need to do when you're making a map is um, double click uh, with the one man symbol. So also just let you know, uh, these things are uh, mission, intro, and then if you win or if you lose. So that means for the mission, this is what you're gonna be using the most. This is where you put everything you want once you're in the game. So enemies, players, everything. The, uh, the intro is what you want when you have, like, you know, on the briefing screen, you've got the map and stuff. So that's what you, you put symbols down. You put, you know, the flag, the spawns, arrows, words, all that kind of stuff. So people know what they're doing in the briefing. Uh, and then obviously this is the debriefing. If you lose or if you win, you got to have, obviously, just some words, some other stuff. But I won't be covering that stuff uh, today, but first things you want to do, make sure you're in the uh, the mission, and you have uh, the little man, just the single man selected, and you want to double click. I'm going to be recreating the mission that me and Dan played the other day. Um, so yeah, you spawn, and the first rifleman or the first guy you make, you want him to be set to player. You want him to be the team that you want to play, and then the rest of the stuff you can change if you need to. Now. This means if you hit preview, you'll take control of this character. Also, if you hold shift and click on him and then move your mouse around, it rotates him. And then I'll also create just a second guy. He'll be playable, which means in the lobby of a game, people can join and become that player. If you make him non-playable, he'll just be an NPC. I'm also going to make my guy a sergeant just so he's the uh, commander of any uh, squad that I create uh, near him. So that's how you create your allied spawns. You can make as many of these playable guys as you want. So you can have, you know, a lot of guys. If you want a 50, um, 50 person map, you got to make 50 of those guys. And you can make them different. Uh, you can give them names. You can, I'm not exactly sure what the initialization thing does. You can give them descriptions. Uh, you can set how much ammo, how much health, how much armor. So you can make a guy that's like really close to dying so your mission is to go find him and heal him up and you can give him like no ammo and then a probability of presence as well so you could put 100 guys down put it to 50 percent and half of them will not be there so you won't know where every single guy is or you could do it with a squad you could have five squads around the map but only you don't know so even if you created the game you don't know what if they're all going to be there um also to delete guys, you just hover over them and hit delete. You don't need to have them selected. Um, yeah, so that's 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 pretty much um, the allies stuff in a co-op mission. Um, and if you want uh, non-playable characters, basically just follow the same steps I'm going to show you for enemies now, um, but make them blue for instead of op for, or the other way around, depending which team you're playing. Uh, so next, we'll set a a unit that's patrolling um, up this road, round, down, back up this road again. So um, if I go to the, uh, the group one and I double click and I want to make a, a rifle squad. Um, no, not a rifle squad, that's uh, infantry squad, sorry. Rifle squad is the, uh, the blue four version. So you want to then switch back before you click anything, you want to switch back to the single guy and that will make, if you keep it on the group, when you uh, 
click a guy, it, all it will do is uh, take him out of the squad. Sorry, it will get rid of this blue line. Um, and this blue line is basically all these guys under the command of the squad leader, including the two team leaders and all the different types of dudes. Um, so I'm going to grab all these guys. Even if you're moving the whole group, you still need to be in the single thing. You just select them all. I'm going to chuck him down here. And I'll click just that guy. Go to the uh, the little footprints, which is the waypoints uh, thing. And I'm going to select one guy. Since you only need to select him because all the other guys will follow him as they're in his squad. And you want to double click right in front of him. Now since this is just a routine patrol, they're not lurking for everyone. I'm going to make it limited, which means they're walking. And safe. You could make them careless, which makes them not... They're not looking around for guys. They're just... You know, they think that they're safe. They think that, you know, no one's ever going to come, so they're being careless, obviously. But I don't want to do that. And I'll put them in a line formation because they seem to have some troubles with the other formations and it takes them a, sometimes a very long time to get into formation. Um, and a line formation works. It's not the most realistic, but it works. And then I'm just going to have them go all the way up this road to here. Of course, keep this as move. Um, and no change, I want to keep them like that. Then I'll make them go to here, down to here, over to here, and then this last one, I'm going to make right here behind where they just were, I'm going to make it cycle uh, instead of move, which means it'll then attach to... Um, to the start of the line and you'll and they'll just do a loop that's very important because otherwise if you just did a normal waypoint they would just stop there um, also this one seems to have gone inside a wall ah uh, crap uh, make sure it says move I cannot seem to drag it out of there so I'll just delete it and then uh, balls. Yeah, so if you screw this up, uh, there's probably an easy way to what I'm doing right now. And I'll just move that one there. And I could just add another one in, but I actually can't be bothered. This actually does work. Um, what was happening there was they were like, when they were patrolling, they were taking cover at a wall, which I didn't want them to do. Um, so yeah, that's how you set a squad to do a patrol. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You just need to know and remember to put that as cycle. And as cycle, it will attach to the nearest waypoint. So I could um, move the cycle and put it up here. Um, which would make it, obviously it doesn't really make sense, but it just attaches to the nearest one. Uh, so you can make it go to different places. And also since say, say they're going off the road here, I could make this switch to like aware just so like since they're off the road they're just being a little bit more cautious because there is some trees here I mean just because I can um, so that's how you make a patrol I won't bother making more that's just how I did it in the other mission I had two patrols but yeah um, I'm then going to set uh, in in our mission that we did there were some guys in this building here so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna make some single guys and make them op for riflemen and privates not in a squad yeah uh, just in there and the way control uh so copy and pasting works is if i select him and copy here and then paste here you see he's the same distance away from my cursor as he was when i copied so what i want to do is copy right on top of him so then he appears right where my cursor actually is just for simplicity's sake. So I'll make four guys. Um, I'll make this front guy a auto rifleman. And I'll make him a corporal. And then I'll just link all of these guys to him. So that means if they if their AI starts to take over in a situation where they actually spot the enemy they will take orders from him, so they will follow him. They won't, if you don't do that, they'll all just go in different directions and it will be kind of weird. Okay, and then, we're back to waypoints. 
select the first guy and then double click on the military officers or any building that is enterable. And then I'm going to make him go position three. You can make him go position one. And as you see, it's got this little red thing. That's what happened before when, and that meant they were taking cover, which is not what I wanted. Make sure it says military officers, not move. You don't want them to be attacking the, or moving to the move. It just doesn't work. Let's go odd numbers here. So he goes five and then he goes seven. Now I believe that made them all separate, but they're all gonna follow him anyway. Uh, so that's how you do that. Now, just to show that this is working, I'll delete my uh, player and I'll just place another player down here so I can just see exactly what happens. So if I go up four and a player, yep. Rotate him round. And also take him out of this squad. And then hit preview. So now I'll see these guys go into their line formation and start their patrol. I won't bother following them all the way because I am confident that it's going to work. Um, so yeah, they're all going in their line formation. And I uh, see they're, um, they're just normal walking. They're going slow. North. Um, and they are lining up properly. Now these guys are stuck at the back. They should... They should figure their shit out. Yes, they, they go eventually. They're just a bit silly. I've got a nice gun here. Red tracer rounds. Nice big scope. Yeah, I like this. Sorry, my graphics settings are a bit low. I can't... My computer is a little bit old. Getting a bit outdated for, uh, for running new games like this. Come on, move your ass. But you see, this is actually... This is a quite a large squad. And as a two-man team... It is actually a fairly formidable thing. Um, hit abort just to go back to the editor. It is fairly formidable to be going up against such a large squad uh, just with two guys. Because you can't take them all out before they all start taking cover. Okay, so we'll just check on uh, these guys going in the building as well. These guys are obviously a lot easier. They're just in the building. You chuck a few grenades in like we did in the uh, thing. Okay, so you see... Uh, they're all moving. I... I, that's because I did no change in all of the things. Um, I could have set it to limited and they would just they would just stroll into here casually. But they're being silly. What are you doing? AI isn't perfect. I might have... He might be doing what he's told. He might be going in the front door. The rest of them went in the back door. Also, the positions in this building are really weird. Like, they're just these random rooms. But yeah, they went in the building. That's the important thing. With experience, you learn which positions in the rooms are best. Also, this is a terrible building to, to defend. It'll be better to have a watchtower or something. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So I'll just delete my guy there. And go back up here. And do... Okay, so... That concludes um, the first episode, except for the respawn point. Now, this is the one thing which is not really as intuitive as the rest of the game, and it's kind of weird. And I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to change it. It would be nice if they did, but it's not a huge deal. Um, but basically, it involves editing a config file, or adding a file uh, outside, of, um, outside of the actual game itself. So that's, this is what um, basically just you want if you want a two-man co-op mission, going up against the patrol, some guys in some buildings, um, attacking a point. So it's pretty simple. Uh, the next episode I'll do things like vehicles, weapon crates, um, other NPCs like independents and civilians, uh, random, just miscell miscell miscellaneous like props, um, the barrels and cover, stuff like that, and also like time of the day, naming the mission and stuff. But for now, I'll just save this. Um, you want to give it a name. If you ever do a space, it'll do like uh, a percentage sign and stuff. So you want to avoid spaces, just do underscores. But it doesn't matter because you save the final mission in a different format. So I'm just going to do this. Uh, Oriel 1. And to save it as a user mission for now, you then 
uh, if you go save as and you when you're finished making the whole map, you go export to player missions and then save. But I don't want to do that at the moment. And I'll be right back. Actually, no I won't, I just forgot something. Um, and then I'm just going to show you the respawn thing now. I just forgot. Uh, if I go... What you want to do the respawn point is this, uh, the circle with the X in it is markers. And you want to make it an empty, just default, and call it respawn and hit OK. Now save it. Now you can exit. And I'll be right back uh, recording my desktop to show you the uh, the file you need to edit. So what you want to do is navigate to uh, my documents then armor 3 alpha then go missions and then the name of your mission dot stratus uh, and then you just have this mission file uh, sqm file and you want to create this description dot ext file. Um, so basically, it should just say in it, um, respawn space equals space in quotation marks base, and then a semicolon, and then on the next line, respawn delay space equals space how many seconds, um, and then semicolon again. Uh, so do, to create that type of file, you just go new text document, uh, call it description, type that in, hit save as, and then put it to all files, and then type uh, .ext at the end, and hit save. I'll just replace it because I already had it in there. And then just delete the old text document, and you're good to go. Your respawn points will now work. Um, yeah, sorry for the uh, quality of this section as well. Um, Fraps does not record Windows 8 desktop um, because it doesn't use Aero anymore, so, um, they haven't made a fix for that yet. Uh, so, this bit's a bit dodgy, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll cover, uh, vehicles, um, weapon crates, NPCs, you know, independents and civilians, and making those people angry at different people, so independents may only attack one side or they won't attack anyone or they'll attack everyone uh, miscellaneous props and also the time of day so you want to do a night mission and naming the mission itself so yeah uh, thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video